maneuvering through life with no job or source of income and you know I'm so grateful and thankful to have um, places to stay and you know people that care about you you know um, even though at the end of the day it just solely comes down to you and you know you're the leader of your life you're the creator of your life and you know with no source of income and just depending solely on your creativity on your creative abilities and what you truly want to create and pave for yourself you know that is unique to you um, that takes lots of courage and lots of trust um, to follow your heart you know and this has allowed me this has gave me um, allowed me to see life from a more bigger perspective knowing that not everything is about money um, and actually our well-being and our health our our mental health our clarity um, all that comes into creating abundance in your life like we need to have true health and our well-being comes first before anything else before the the need to um, you know have instant gratification um, because we all desire the same thing we all want the same thing we all deserve the same thing we all deserve to live abundantly you know that is our birthright we came here to live in peace but of course there's gonna be things and obstacles and challenges and pain and trauma that is going to um, be the life lessons of you know of that and rebirthing into a new to create um, more harmonious more more harmony ultimately more peace more balance and um, so this has gave me um, lots of lessons within itself of just a period of not focusing on financial gain you know what I mean and getting to the next level of my life while we're always traveling to next levels whether it's emotional breakthroughs you know what I mean mental breakthroughs physical breakthroughs like when it comes to your physical health um, and then so this has taught me grace and patience um, and and not rushing anything you know what I mean because for what I truly want and for the sake of my peace and and what I really want to create um, I need patience because I know that comes with my growth as well my personal growth um, you know how am I going to rush into success and abundance when my mental level is um, not matching that you know what I mean or um, I'm still stuck on emotional past trauma you know what I mean so a lot of that took me these two periods this grace period whatever it was I have changed so much and not changed in a way where I'm a new person but I have learned so much about myself and what I have been carrying my whole life what I've been believed to believe about life you know what I mean um, it has allowed me to really unpack so before I even began to think about my career or whatever I was gonna do I thought about health I thought about my well-being I thought about um, having fun but in a way where I can feel alive where I never felt before, where I wanted to thrive um, in my well-being, you know what I mean? And for me, that was my first top priority when I graduated high school. I wanted to reinvent myself in a way where I'm healthier, um, I am, um, you know, seeking more of that mental clarity, you know what I mean? And um, because coming from a background where my, my mother had to go to, you know, mental hospitals 
to cure her mental illness but in a way that was never curing her and I was a witness to that my whole life and being in a dysfunctional family I mean let's face it um, not a lot of us come from perfect families or whatever perfect means or whatever you know what I mean I don't even think there's a perfect family out there but the true symbolic health healthy um, environment that we're supposed to be uh, raised in um, it's very rare in this society it's very rare in this world um, and so for me just being a witness to that being around that my priority was to clear my mental space and my anxieties you know my low self-esteem that angst you know that angst that we all just experienced you know in school and just growing up like I felt so heavy that I needed time. I needed so much time to gain clarity. And a lot of us rush, like as soon as we graduate, we're rushing, you know what I mean? And not even fully knowing who we truly are and who we truly, what we truly want. So I've been allowing myself to be in grace, no matter what people are thinking of, opinions judgment um, you know time limits like oh you know whatever because that's illusionary and I have that like myself comes first like what you're feeling do not ignore that you know and when you listen to yourself everything in your reality literally corresponds and collaborates and and work with you to meet your needs and so that's how it's been for me you know and when you become the leader of your own world nobody can say anything because how can anyone read your mind or know exactly what you're gonna do or know what your heart is you know what I mean like Everyone has their own destined path and people, they can't control that. So this really has allowed me to unpack my consciousness in a way that, in a way where I've never have before in my life. I was never taught to do this. You know, it was very instinctual. And I can say that the internet, you know, has guided me to that um, but my whole life I always knew that the way the society ran I always just hated it you know I always uh, resented it I always um, I didn't want to be a part of it I've always loved to just play outside and connect with people and have fun and you know just that child wonderment of passion of creativity that was the realest thing to me you know and I'm sure a lot of you guys feel that. Whoever clicked on this video, you know what I mean? Um, and so right now, um, I'm in a period of my life where I just really want to create. I really just want to exert my passions. Everything that I'm so passionate about, I want to share. And I'm trying to learn how to use that as a way of life. Um, and, and being able to have an exchange of income with that um, and knowing that the value and the worth is, you know, your passions and who you are. Um, and so creating our dreams on earth, you know, and not settling for anything less, not settling for what people expect of you, like, no no you know predictable behavior that's just going to continue the cycle of like you're just going nowhere you know what I mean and what we're really here for is to express from within express from the soul you know um, because that's who we are we're the soul you know, we're not the material. 
and so I've learned a lot I'm still learning as I go so much and nature is always the best teacher because it's so glorious and the way it flows and it's just nature doesn't rush but still yet completes everything that it needs to complete you know it still is giving it still is um doing what it's supposed to do but in a state of grace and flow you know and it's ever giving everlasting it never stops it never stops and never settles it never you know it just is you know it just is so it has also taught me to be in the present moment like what can I create today you know what I mean how can I tap into the everlasting fountain of youth of creativity of childlike wonder that is in our hearts that is who we are you know well yes you know it's it's a it's actually a form of responsibility because when we know that we are all we have our existence is the only thing we are depending on we're not depending on the system we're not depending on jobs on anything external when all that can fall away tomorrow, what do we have left? What we have left is our ideas, our creativity, the ability to build from nothing to something, the ability to depend upon ourselves. That is the truth. That is everything. So what do we do? What do we do? We have to just be. We have to be who we are. It's about being. It's about being in this present moment. In this present moment. That's where everything exists, is now. Just by me not having a source of income, I've already, I'm already experiencing abundance because I am supported. All my needs are always met every single day. It's effortless. And I'm so, I can just, the abundance of nature is all it takes for you to feel abundance. That everything is provided here for us. All the elements are working for us to thrive. The energies. There's an infinite amount of energy right now to be able to thrive, to create. You know, um, there's, I mean, it's just, it's just unbelievable, actually. There's never lack in nature. So why do we feel that? Why do we feel that? So I've been really learning to, um, you know, when I have rushes of ideas, you know, the ideas just kind of never stop. And it's just a matter of really taking action upon them. You know, because knowing that your mind is connected to the unseen, you know, that is everything, right? And you just have, you can't, you can't ignore your ideas, okay? Like, literally everything in this world is created from the mind. I mean, your house was an idea, your stove, your microwave, your TV, your phone, was an idea you know like everything stems from ideas and so that's truly the currency 
and it just teaches you more about yourself and your potential, you know, that side of you that you don't want to show, but it's literally like meant for you to that that fear side that you're afraid to show that's just the comfort zone boundary like or threshold like that and I'm learning this right now as I speak you know like me expressing myself right now being vulnerable telling you I have no job telling you that I'm literally depending upon my ideas right now and what I offer you know my herbal shop you know I, I love to just express myself and within my passions within my thoughts you know uh, about what I perceive about the world and us and um, there's so much more that I want to create there's so much more um, and I'm in a period right now where I'm just surrendering you know and I'm allowing I'm allowing the plan the divine plan to unfold um, and that is that is all I can do you know just sail sail through the seas sail through the path of this journey that never ends that transcends this life and our worries our stresses are minuscule are minuscule compared to what God sees in us what what is truly destined for us that is beyond the perception of the ego and the inner critic that likes to doubt likes to fear likes to be afraid likes to worry there's much more than that and so knowing that has gave me lots of faith in the unseen that is always guiding our impulses, our, our every move. I mean, the way we move, our, we can't see it. We can't see it, but it's something that is seen from a higher realm, okay? And you may not see it from your own eyes, but others do. Others see you in a way where you've never seen yourself. And that is the beauty of life. You know, um, life is mysterious. We are mysterious. And our perce what we think of ourselves, that's not, that's not you. Okay. Um, it's very important though to think of yourself positively and high and highly for your own self-esteem and your self-love. You know, and you're creating, you're generating, you're emitting a powerful frequency and energy just by thinking yourself highly, you know. And, and feeling that you, that you know that you're unique and no one can be you, you know? Um, but we're all still equal in the end. You know, we're all one in the end, but you know that you have something to offer in this world that is unique and that is your mission, your sole purpose. And um, that that is knowing that you're not settling for less. That you're here for a higher purpose. You're not here 
to listen to societies and and uh, you know all that all that political you're not there you're not here to do that you're not here to follow the rule book and you're not here to follow the crowd and I'm speaking to everyone who clicks on this video because you're a reflection of me and I am of you God wants you to thrive. The universe wants you to thrive. You know, your spiritual team wants you to thrive. We're not alone. We're not alone. Right now, as I'm, as I'm doing this video right now, right, I'm sitting out here in my backyard and I left my phone in the house, you know, and I'm, I'm literally here like thinking about, not even thinking, it's just, kind of allowing for the ideas to come in you know allowing my space you know to fill just being open to ideas and and you know new dimensional spaces within my mind you know um and not allowing myself to consume as much so i left my phone you know i'm outside i'm embracing the day embracing everything that is here for me to soak up you know and i'm out here just feeling the magical beauty the mir miracle beauty of nature and life and i'm like wow what is my number one kind of uh I guess my underlying stress right now, you know, and that is being able to pave my own path, you know, successfully. And, you know, I know I'm not the only one going through this, so I was like, I have to make a video expressing this right now because this is in the back of my mind, you know? This is a phase in my life right now where I am paving my path my unique path and it's so unpredictable it's so unconventional it's so mysterious but I'm doing it it's I'm being it you know <laughs> I'm embodying it like this is now this is everything that will all, ever be is now and it's we can have so much self-doubt, so much, because we feel like, what if I'm creating is just illusion or like imaginary? It's, it doesn't exist in this world, so how am I going to even bring it? You know what I mean? But I'm literally trusting in, in, in my heart in, in everything that has created this right now has created my existence for me to be here right now express I'm, I'm literally trusting in the power of that creation of of creation the fact that nature is working for us to be living right now how our bodies are absorbing this oxygen right now how these trees are just providing homes for these birds and these birds are just like everything I'm literally trusting in that <laughs> um, and the fact that there's growing crazy medicinal passion flower crazy passion flower wild growing in my sister's garden right now providing hella medicine right now and I'm using it okay I'm on my cycle right now and I'm making brews, magical menstrual brews right now as we speak. Um, I'm trusting the fact that my needs are always met, you know, and I don't have a conventional source of income or whatever, but I'm still doing and being and embodying what I want to become, who I want to become. So, 
like I said, this is a journey. This is an experience. This is an experiment, right? Right. And it's truly a collaboration as well. You know, we're connecting all the time. You know, all of us are here to connect with each other, to create, right? Creators creating. Um, and that's what the ultimate creator <laughs> want us to do. That is our power, is to create. And the smells of outside right now, like the smells of just flowers and vibrancy and just beauty and it's all here for us to enjoy, for us to become inspired of our potential to create beauty of that mysterious beauty <sighs> so yeah this is this is kind of um, how I've been maneuvering through my life right now um, nothing ever stays the same you know we're always constantly growing spiritually and so that's why I chose this I chose to not follow the expectations of others and how life is supposed to be the, the, the time limits of you gotta do this by the by age I don't even know but that's not how life really really works um, it's interesting though how the ego can come in and ha and make you self-doubt make you and it's because of the programming intense intense mind brain washing of the society and how it's it's got our ancestors you know this is in this has been rooted in our ancestors, okay? And is being passed down to us, so we still feel that and what they felt. And this is deep psychological, spiritual, spiritual um, development. And, and um, you know, this is, this is beyond the physical. So, you know, I really do feel a, an immense surge of change and purging of dark, negative emotions. Um, I feel like nature and the earth is supporting us in this transition, in this change into a higher way of life and to coexist in harmony with nature. Um, and this is very indigenous, this is very tribal, this is ancient, okay? Um, so, yeah. <laughs> 